Hello and welcome to this video about the NAD C545BEE CD player. Uh, it's either I've received it as a possible trade-in on a Roxon Caspian together with a Denon player. Denon sadly had an open circuit transformer which is hard to get. Other than that it looked pretty clean but it's a lower end model so that's why I didn't proceed any further with it. This however has a Wolfson DAC, this NAD and um, it sounds reasonably good. It's, um, it's well made, pristine condition, even it's remote is sort of unmarked. Um, what we have here, um, the fault with it was that uh, basically laser me mechanism went. Uh, I always say that they don't go, but maybe it could have been resurrected by tuning the servo but as you see this is high density servo board and there's nothing here to adjust. Further, I couldn't even put my laser meter there to check what's going on with the laser because it's the loader is all one bit plastic chassis, you cannot open it up. So, um, so all that is done automatically. So I just had to, um, I just had to replace this um, laser thing, and um, it's a Sanyo SFP101N. Plenty full of those uh, everywhere. Still brand new ones left at West Components Institute, and it works. So I don't know if they sort of um, put too much power on it, and then it ended life prematurely or was there out the function just hard to measure um, as you see it has some quality components it's good one two three four five six voltage regulators so it's in good company Burr Brown op, um, op amps there and um, you know got some Rubicon are they Rubicon yeah the Rubicon capacitors there so it's uh, it's all quality stuff and you know it reads absolutely anything absolutely any disk uh, and i think it reads the test disk to two and a half millimeters it's just absolutely crazy it's like um, the standard is 0.9 and this just goes further than than anything you know, I don't know if it's gonna, if that laser is gonna last. Maybe they used too much power. Maybe the power control was set too high, and uh, it's all done automatically. So, but the lasers are only thirty something dollars plus GST, so it's not that much. You can really replace them yourself. It's no big deal. Four screws to take the mechanism out, and then do it from the bottom. Another four screws there. Couple of cables, ribbon cables. You just have to ground yourself so you don't. Um, blow the laser diet and there's a shorting link that you have to remove. I'm just looking for it and because uh, I removed it and I don't remember what it is. It's that day. There's always one big blob that's you know where my finger points is that in the corner. Don't thank you very much and um, till next time if I if the customer buys my rock sand this will be available for sale if no it will go back to him as a repair. Pretty good unit it is. I reckon he should stay with it. If he's happy with the sound, why not? Thank you very much. Bye bye.